just under 15,000 years ago, the glaciers of the Ice Age began to melt. They carved out a depression in the landscape, which became waterlogged. By 10,000 years ago, this became a swamp and fen landscape. Wildlife was abundant, and hunter-gatherers probably visited. 8,000 years ago, a wet woodland had grown over the swamp. Around 6,600 years ago, most of the trees died and the wetland was rapidly colonised by sphagnum mosses. A dome of moss and peat built up and rose above the surrounding landscape, creating a raised bog. By the mid-13th century, local people were allocated strips of land to dig peat. The Industrial Revolution allowed increased drainage. Large parts became farmland. A shooting range was used by local militia in the 19th century. In the early 20th century, an informal waste dump grew into Macclesfield's main landfill. Housing developments grew on the edges of the moss. Peat digging declined. Centuries of drainage and peat extraction had created a dried peatland that no longer sequestered carbon from the atmosphere. From the 1960s, the Cheshire Wildlife Trust attempted to restore part of Danes moss to healthy raised bog. Urban development increased into the 21st century, but a large development proposal on the northern area of the moss was defeated by the Danegate campaign led by local people. The landfill closed as nearly 100 years worth of trash was piled up into a giant hill. Before the Industrial Revolution, Danes moss extended to 1,000 acres. Today, around 480 acres of peatland remain, and around 200 acres of this is allocated for urban development by Cheshire East Council. Despite the loss of many important wildlife species, Danes Moss remains one of the most biodiverse places in Cheshire, and the small areas that have been restored to healthy raised bog show us that a much bigger restoration is possible.